Hi everyone. I just want to show you two ways to clean your stamps. Um, Stampin' Up has their Stampin' Mist Cleaner. It does have a spray thing, but I saved my old bottle and I just refilled this, which needs to be refilled actually. So this is one way. Um, this is for cleaning your rubber stamps, but it works pretty well on your blocks too. Um, so I just put a little bit on a towel or a rag and it cleans up the blocks pretty well. Now if you don't want to buy that, don't have it, etc. Uh, I'll show you another way. You do have to use a, well if you get your blocks as dirty as I do, you do maybe need to use a little bit of elbow grease on them. Because I get sticky stuff and all kinds of I don't know what on my blocks and <laughs> and it's been a while and I just need to do it so I thought I'd share this with you um, plus this smells better than the next version and you may have to do them if they're bad like mine you might have to do them a little longer but it, it does get color off and goop off you know that kind of stuff and um, you might want to do the sides a little bit too because that's where my fingers get inky and get on the blocks then and get sticky stuff on them, you know. So do the sides too, don't forget to do that. And that one's not perfect yet, but it's pretty good. All right, so that's one way. And let me close up so I don't spill it all over. And then another way, I'm gonna do this little block here because it's pretty dirty, is just your isopropyl alcohol you can get in your pharmacy or Walmart or wherever. Now this will evaporate quickly but it too cleans your blocks really well. Um, and I like both ways. Just depends on what I have within arm's reach. My alcohol is getting a little low so if I run out of that I'll use the Stampin' Cleaner because I like to use the alcohol for other stuff too. I think the alcohol works a tad bit quicker because the Stampin' Mist is it's made to clean your stamps, not your blocks. But this works really well. Doesn't smell as nice as the Stampin' Mist. But, you know, I'm not here to sniff any of them. But make sure you work in a well-ventilated area. Unlike me. <laughs> I'm up sort of in my... Uh, my upper level which is basically under the eaves and there they came up pretty clean compared to how bad that looks right so I'm gonna do the rest of my blocks I just wanted to show you how I clean them those are my two methods I have tried washing them in dish soap and they honestly they don't come clean as well as doing them this way just with you could use like a microfiber cloth instead if you don't like to use paper toweling. Paper toweling works better for me. And I see I missed a spot on there, so I'm going to take it off with the with the alcohol. So I think for the blocks, alcohol works better. For your stamps, uh, I use my chamois, you know, to do quick clean. But if they get um, really dirty, I do really like the stamp and mist. Now also, if you're using Stazon ink, um, there is Stazon, I don't know if this is the exact bottle that Stampin' Up! sells, but they do sell Stazon cleaner. It's all-purpose stamp cleaner, but it's meant for the Stazon, and we have black and saddle brown now in Stazon, and this is the only cleaner I have found that cleans your uh, stamps from Stazon, and I would use it right away when you're done uh, using your stamp. In fact, I need to order another bottle pretty soon for that because uh, I do plan on using my stays on soon. Um, so anyway, that is it guys. So for your regular inks, your dye-based inks, isopropyl alcohol, this is 91%. I'm sure 70% works fine too. I don't know. I have both actually. Um, and um, you might want to reserve the 90, 91% for your misters, and then you could use 70% on your blocks, and that would be fine. 
Um, the Stamp and Miss Cleaner by Stampin' Up works also. You just have to give a little more elbow grease. And then for your stays on inks, um, this stays on cleaner. Stampin' Up does sell that as well. It might be a slightly different bottle. I I'm I'm, can't remember. I have to order it and find out. So there you have it. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.